Microsoft recently announced AI toolkit for VS Code that simplifies Gen AI app development by bringing together cutting edge AI development tools and models from Azure AI Studio catalog and other catalogs like Hugging Face. With the help of this AI toolkit for VS Code, you can browse the AI model catalogs powered by Azure ML and Hugging Face, download these models locally, fine tune them, test them, and even use them in your own application. You can even fine tune and deploy the models to the Azure cloud. Just a few hours ago, I did a video on how to install this AI toolkit for VS Code on Windows and then how you can use it for various purposes and I also went into detail of its feature. But in this video, I am going to fine tune a model which is 5.3 mini 4K instruct locally in VS Code and then I will be using a custom data set from Hugging Face but you can use your own data set locally or from cloud or from Hugging Face wherever you like. Before I show you how to do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM which I'm going to use for this video plus the GPU which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to put a coupon code of 50% discount on an already discounted offering. Highly recommended, do check them out. Now, there are a few prerequisites which you need uh, on your system if you're running Windows or Linux or Mac. For example, if you're running Windows, you need to have the Windows subsystem for Linux. If you don't know how to install it, I, in my other video, which you can search on the channel, I already have shown the command as how to do it. You don't need it in Linux, which I'm going to use for this one. And you don't really need it the Mac OS. So another thing which you need to do is to make sure that you have GPU, of course. If you are doing a fine tuning, then you need to have a GPU. If you don't know what fine tuning is, in very simple words, what happens is that all of these large language models, they get trained on a huge set of data, but they don't really know about your own custom data. And that custom data could be of your company, your personal data. And if you want the LLM to give you the answer from your own data, you need to fine tune those LLMs. Fine tuning these LLMs technically means adjusting the model's parameters to adapt to a new specific task or data set, leveraging the knowledge it gained from its initial training on a larger related data set. And this fine tuning process involves adding a new output layer or modifying the existing one to match the new task's requirement and then retraining the entire model or a subset of its layer on the new data set using a smaller learning rate to avoid overwriting the pre-trained knowledge. Fine tuning allows the model to specialize in the new task, updating its weights to capture task specific patterns and relationships, and typically leads to better performance on the new task compared to training a model from scratch. And there are various techniques of fine tuning a subset of model like LoRa, which is low rank adaptation or QLoRa, which is quantized low rank adaptation. And I have done various videos where I go into detail about these techniques. So feel free to search the channel. Okay, enough talk. Now let me launch my LM, uh, my VS Code here. So this is a VS Code. I already have installed the AI Toolkit extension for VS Code. Again, if you uh, are not sure how to do that, please search my other video. But in summary, all you need to do is to just click on this extension tab on the very left hand side of this VS Code. Search with AI Toolkit as I have done here. Click on it and then click on install. And it is only available at pre-release at the moment. So as you can see, I already have installed it. And once you install it, you can see that there is this icon on the left AI toolkit appears. Click on it. And then it is going to load it. I'm just going to close these windows on the right hand side. You can, it's always a good idea to allow it to log into the GitHub because then it won't really annoy you. So let me quickly log in there. Okay, I am already logged in. You can ignore this warning on the right hand side about genome or if you want, you can restart the genome daemon, but that's fine. Let's leave it for now. 
So now again, you see that there are model playground and on model fine tuning on the left hand side. I'm just going to click on model fine tuning. Now let's select the project name here. I'm just going to call it uh, FT, which is fine tune model. You can name it anything. And then I'm going to select the project location, which is a folder on my local system. I'm just going to maybe go with my existing folder, which I created earlier. It's an empty folder, my test project, and then select it. So that is also done. And then select a model, click here. Or then you see there are a lot of models which you can select on the model catalog. I'm just going to go with my uh, Microsoft 1.5, which is a smallish model. You can select any. So I have selected it and then click on configure project on the right. It is configuring it. Let's wait for it to finish. Doesn't take too long. It creates a whole project um, infrastructure. That is good. Now, model is selected. Second step is to configure the data set. If you come down here, you see in the data set one, you can select your local data set file, JSON format, JSON L format, or you can give it a hugging face repo name. So I'm just going to go with the default one because no matter uh, what data set you use, the training process is same. And then there are a few fine tuning settings here. As I mentioned earlier, you can select your fine tuning stuff for, for the testing purpose. I'm just going to keep everything default. But you see here you can select your compute D type data type that it could be float 16 or B float and you can just uh, hover around this I icon to see what exactly it means. This is our LoRa R which is attention dimension or layers. So LoRa is low rank adaptation as I mentioned earlier. This is my evaluation data set batching is this and this is a learning rate which shows that um, what learning rate your optimizer will face i uh, will for example for us that optimizer is at mw which is the best one available and then this is where it is going to save the models checkpoints this is the random value seed and these are the gradient accumulation steps so this is just uh, you know accumulates the gradients before performing a backward propagation and it is going to do the number of epoch three i'm just going to change it one for this one and it, it is the number of rounds it makes over data set to get trained. Okay. And I'm just setting the LoRa dropout uh, probability to 0.1. You can set it to zero if you like, but that is fine. Okay. So we have our data set now because for fine tuning, you need your model, you need your data set. Both are done. Let's click on generate project. And then here you need to go to Hugging Face website because I have selected this model from um, this model is uh, this sorry the data set is present on hugging face so and model is there too so you need to select this hugging face token so that this project will be able to access it for that you would just need to go to hugging face website huggingface.co if you don't have it just log in there or sign up and then generate a token from your profile by clicking on setting i already have covered it in my channel how to do it very simple if you are struggling just Put it in the comment and i'll show you how to do that so let's click on save then click on relaunch window in workspace and you see on the left hand side it has created a very nicely written fine tuning inference and all that project setup for you so just click. i'm removing this um, welcome screen Click on fine tuning on the left hand side. You see, this is all there is. Like, but first up, click on setup here. This is our setup which you need to do. So on the top menu, click on terminal, click on new terminal, and it is going to open this new terminal for you. And I'm just going to do Conda deactivate. You don't have to do it because I'm in my Conda's base environment. I don't want to use that. That is why I'm doing it. Okay, so you see, I'm already in FT model directory. If I do ls here this is the setup it has created in my ls ft model directory okay the first step what we need to do we need to go to this setup directory within that and then run this first time setup so let me first go to setup directory here 
and if if i do ls you see there is a first time setup but first thing you need to change make it executable the first time setup one because otherwise it won't run so just to uh, ch mod to change its uh, to make it executable and now let's clear the screen and here dot slash first and run it what this will do it will create a conda environment for you it will install all the prerequisites and so it is running this conda environment file it is creating this conda environment with the name this it is going to install all of these prerequisites and if you check the requirement.txt there is a lot of stuff like torch torch vision inop and then olive dash ai create you a lot of stuff is there which is it is going to install so let's wait for it to finish it will take around four to five minutes so let's wait and it has created the conda environment as you can see and if you don't have conda already installed because this is a uh, one of the prerequisites you need to do if you don't know how to install it i already have done a video on the channel as how to install conda so please make sure that you do that okay so that is done now we need to check which environment we have so just do conda uh, maybe conda info dash dash e and yes and then these are the environments we have so simply do conda and activate pi dash one dash five dash env and it is going to activate that environment for you and we have that in parentheses here okay so let me clear the screen and then let's go back one folder now we are in the ft model so let's clear the screen again and let me close this requirement.txt file and also this readme file now setup is done let's go to the fine tuning directory first up let's click on this olive dash config.json which it automatically created for us here we need to change one thing you see there we, it says model name so model name is fine but what we need to do we need to change this whole value so you replace it with whatever you model you want to fine tune for some reason it doesn't put the correct one here so go to hugging face again this is the model which we want to fine tune and that is what we selected in our step one in vs code simply copy this name so it will select microsoft slash this go back to the vs code in that config olive dash config dot json and then replace replace this whole thing with this so delete it and paste now it is better and control s for save make sure to save it so we have also done it now in order to uh, start the fine tuning all you need to do is to run this invoke dash olive dot pi so simply go here and just either type or paste i already have pasted it so I'm, but all i'm doing running it i am running it with python 3 fine tuning invoke underscore olive dot by this file you see it has opened it so i'm just going to run it here and it is going to download the model for you first and then it is going to start the fine tuning training so let's wait for it to start it is registering the lora it will just set up the environment you see it is downloaded the model now loading the shards onto my uh, gpu so let's wait for it shouldn't take too long my gpu is 48 gb of vram as you know and then it is just telling me that i'm not running flash attention you can ignore that and there you go it has started the fine tuning process and if you look at the very right it is also showing me the eta is one hour 32 minutes so it is going to take that much time and that and let me try to make it a bit bigger i'm sorry i know it is not that uh visible but this is um i'm just trying to make it a bit bigger but it's not happening anyway so this eta will start coming down as it rains more and more but and i have just put in one epoch and this is the learning rate these are all the parameters which we set it in there so the more bigger your data set will be the more time it will take because it's a fine tuning it is adding the layer and it is a time consuming task so but that's it so once uh, it finishes what it will do it will put your new model in this models directory on the uh, in the checkpoint folder or the hole here and this is a qlora one as you can see these are your 
model chat point it is going to save and then you can upload that model to hugging face or you can simply keep it locally and then you can do the inference with it but it's up to you and i already have shown the inference one in my other video but just to give you some background all you need to do is to just use the inference from here you can chat with it you can even launch a gradio one which i will also uh, show you in my another video so and you see while we were talking it is still going on and on and it is showing us that the loss the training loss is coming down as model is learning more and more on our, on our uh, training data so this is how you fine tune a model on your own data set within vs code i hope that this was useful let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching